Hi guys, I'm David with MediaUnlock.net. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sony A7S S-Log3 4K footage and how to do a really quick basic color correction with it in Adobe Premiere CC. So Adobe's done an update uh, of recent and this update allows you to do color correction within Adobe uh, Premiere CC that hasn't been allowed in the past. Usually you have to go to speed grade to do all your color corrections where here you actually can do it right in Adobe Premiere CC. So I'm going to show you how to do that with, again, the Sony a7S II S-Log3 4K footage. So the first thing we want to do is we want to drag and drop a clip into the timeline. I've already got it set up here. Uh, we were testing out the five actual stabilization here where I was walking with the camera handheld, no steady camera jib, and uh, capturing my buddy walking mainly to show how well the stabilization worked. So what we're going to do is switch over to the new color correction uh, timeline. And it's really easy. We're just going to hit Alt-Shift-3. And as you can see, now we can do some color correcting. So we want to start off with the basic correction. And we want to go to the input LUT. And we're using S-Log3. So you're going to see uh, as soon as we click on that, it's going to give us a, a quick profile correction here and now what we want to do is we want to do a quick correction of the color to try to make it look a little bit better the nice thing about this is it's set up very similar to Lightroom if you do uh, if you edit photos so like your highlights and shadows and stuff work very similar which is really nice and then you can get a lot more in depth which we're not going to do today I just want to show you how to do this basic correction so the first thing I want to do is I want to bring my highlights way down and I'm going to bring my shadows up a tad bit. I'm going to bring my exposure up some now. And then we're going to bring the contrast back in. As you can see, we're already making headway here. We maybe want to bring up the lighting a tad bit more. Um, we can drop the whites a tad bit, bring up the blacks. No, let's drop the blacks a little bit more. Uh, and maybe bring in a little bit more light. Now, it's still looking very dull. I still want to add in maybe a little more saturation here. And you're going to see the greens pop a little bit more. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. So from there, we can go into Creative, and we can play around with the Sharpen. So we probably want to add a like, like less than 10, probably like a 7 on, on Sharpen. So there we go. And then we could play around with the Vibrance and Saturation a little bit if we wanted to. Um, as you notice, if we bring the Vibrance up, it gets a lot more vibrant but that's too vibrant, right? Look at his face. Look how red his face gets. So if I hit shift tilde, his face gets real red. So we're way too vibrant there. So what we want to do is we want to bring that vibrancy down. And now let's take a look at it. And his face is still a little red, but it's not as noticeable. We'll still probably bring the vibrancy down just a tad bit, and that should be good. Um, and then we'll hit this. We'll go to curves. Now you do have the option of working curves, which is really nice. Um, which we're not really going to do anything curves, but as you can see, I have the option to to play around with curves. And let's see here. Too dark. We'll darken it up just a tad bit here. We'll lighten it up a tad bit here. And then we'll go to. You have the option to play around with your midtones on the color wheel. Again, let's take a look at what it looked like before and after. So let's turn this off. This is the before. That's what it looked like before. And let's turn this back on. That's what it looked like after. Very easy, very fast color correction. Uh, S-Log3 is really easy to work with. And I just kind of wanted to show you that as well. I'm going to pop up a picture of the Sony a7S II. If you are interested in checking it out or purchasing it, it does help us out here at Media Unlock. If you click on that link and it takes you to B&H's website and uh, you can purchase it through them, we get a little bit of commission and that helps keep this channel going. If you have any questions or comments or you have a better way of doing this, please let me know. This is the first time that I've really been working with uh, the S-Log3 4K footage in Premiere just the last couple days. So this is kind of what I've uh, done so far and what I've learned. You guys have a great day and thanks for stopping in.
Hey guys, if you'd like to check out our website where we have all kinds of fun and exciting blogs, videos, and extra information that isn't on our YouTube page, click right here. If you'd like to talk to us or contact us and kind of take a look at all the different stuff that we have going on, um, we've kind of funneled it all through our Facebook. You can hit our Facebook page right here and follow us or like us. Now, if you like to look at cool pictures and behind the scenes stuff, we do that on Instagram right here. So go on and follow us on Instagram. And of course, we've got our cute little bird right here, Mr. Twitter. And you can follow us as we do our short tweets.